What's up guys, I'm Dave Spates and I make hiking videos. Today I'm gonna go over my hiking photography backpack and all of the content in it. It's winter here in Colorado right now, so this is what I'm gonna be packing in my backpack about 95% of the time. What I'm using is a Low Pro 500 AW backpack. And the total weight of the backpack and all of its contents as of now, when it's nice and full, is 24 pounds, three ounces. Let's start breaking down the gear. I'm gonna weigh each piece of gear that I have in the backpack. And hopefully this helps some of y'all prepare for some of your winter hiking adventures, especially if you're venturing out in the back country of the wilderness. First thing up, ice axe. Ice axe is gonna weigh in just under a pound. On the other outside of my hiking photography backpack, I've got my tripod and ball head. Super lightweight, super sturdy. It's a Acrotec ball head, really right stuff, ground level tripod. 3.41 pounds for that. I'm gonna go in my back compartment here. I always keep two headlamps with me, batteries included. I got a 700 lumen and a 400 lumen as a backup. These two headlamps with the batteries in them weigh 0.8 pounds. In my back compartment, I've got some snow goggles that I got off Amazon. They're amazing, really cool goggles. Those are gonna weigh in at 0.3 pounds. Micro spikes, I usually use like two or three different brands. This particular brand, Snowline, weighs in at 0.9 pounds. To me, micro spikes are micro spikes. They all work fine for me. Snow gaiters, keep your feet dry. Weighing in at 0.64 pounds. And an extra beanie, weighing in at 0.2 pounds. I also keep about a 10 packs of um, hand warmers in the back compartment of my backpack, easily accessible. That's gonna weigh in at 0.7 pounds. Now we're gonna go to the camera section of my hiking photography backpack and see what's in there. My primary DSLR body, Nikon D780 with the 24 millimeter 1.8 lens. That combination's gonna weigh in at 2.7 pounds. Nice and light. I carry all of my GoPro cameras. I carry a GoPro Hero 7 and a GoPro Hero 9 with eight extra batteries in this little case right here. The GoPro batteries and bodies weigh in at 1.64 pounds. I'll open this up so you can kind of check out what's in there. I've got chargers, spare batteries, and I do charge in the field when the batteries run low because we all know how GoPro batteries like to drain, especially when shooting in 4K. Portable charger, always keep it charged. That's good enough to charge about two or three GoPro batteries. That weighs in at 0.36 pounds. Lots of GoPro accessories. GoPro clip-on, GoPro hand mount. GoPro floating tripod that I got off of a Kickstarter, I believe. GoPro wrist mount and GoPro head mount. All of the GoPro accessories weighing at under a pound at 0.88 pounds. Spare batteries for the headlamps, 0.18 pounds. And then in this compartment right here, I kind of latch it in so it cannot be removed, is a spare car key. That weighs nothing, but I always have a spare car key just in case I somehow lose the main one out on the trail, which I've never done before. Hopefully I never have to use this. Gonna zip that up. Gonna go to my top compartment up here. Easily accessible, but I never, hopefully never need to access it because it's all emergency gear. In here I keep a thing of zip ties emergency heat blanket, life straw. Life straw, still use them in the winter. If the creek or river, or if the creek is frozen or the lake, I use the ice ax to break open a spot. I would aim for creeks with running water. That's gonna be your best bet. Lakes are usually pretty frozen and just get more frozen in thickness as the winter goes along. 
electrical tape, topography map of where I'm hiking. I'm usually hiking in Rocky Mountain National Park. Always keep a topography map on me. First aid kit. Like I said, I don't use this stuff much. Hopefully I don't have to. All of my emergency gear. Uh, also keep bug spray and uh, sunscreen. So all of that's gonna weigh in right at one pound. Not too bad at all. In my top compartment, this is where I keep all my spare clothing and my water bottles. One liter water bottle, um, it'll prevent the water from freezing if you fill it with warm water before you go out hiking. That weighs 0.4 pounds. Wind jacket, weighing in at 0.65 pounds. It's a uh, mammoth, really good for blocking wind and it's also super waterproof. Keep my head warm. I keep an extra merino wool long sleeve shirt. That weighs in at 0.5 pounds, super warm. Spare gloves, but these are my main gloves right now. I lost my hiking photography gloves somewhere along the lines, need to replace those. So I'm just using these as of now. Sunglasses, gotta have sunglasses in the winter. The sun reflecting against the snow can really mess with your eyes. 750 down jacket from backcountry, very light just a tad bit over a pound, 1.08 pounds. Spare socks, these are mountaineering socks weighing in at 0.37 pounds. Very hefty, but very warm. And another thing, a spare gloves weighing in at 0.1 pounds. On the side of this, the cool thing about this backpack is it has two pretty large compartments in the front that go around your waist. I keep in here um, merino wool hand liners they barely weigh anything at all. And another essential, in Garmin Mini Reach, I have a subscription. I think I pay around $10 a month. If I ever get in trouble, I've got a SOS beacon that uh, send help somewhere. Haven't had to use it yet, hopefully never have to. Also tracks your steps and has maps on it and all that good stuff. The hiking photography backpack itself, Weighs in just at over five pounds. It's pretty heavy for a backpack, but I, I need this stuff and I like having excess room to where I can continuously upgrade my gear and put more stuff in there if needed. One other thing that I bring most of the time on my winter hikes, snowshoes. This pair of snowshoes weighs just at four pounds. So on top of the 24 pounds, add four more. I'm looking at about 28 pounds on my hiking photography backpack when I go on winter hikes. One thing that I don't have in my backpack right now is a compass. I lost it on the last hike that I did and I lost my backup compass. Emily usually keeps a compass on her. So normally we're hiking with about three compasses or so. What I really want to get as another accessory is a hiking watch. If anyone has any good recommendations for one, please leave one in the comments below. But that's pretty much it on what I bring 95% of the time on my winter hikes here in Colorado. If you have any questions or comments or think I'm missing something, please go ahead, leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. I love chatting with y'all. That's gonna do it for me today. Until the next hike, I'm Dave Spates, Hiking Adventure Photography.